So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect a games console to Ecamm Live so you can record and live stream your favorite video games. For this, I'm gonna be using an Xbox One, but this will work with any console you can connect to a TV. So first of all, let's cover what you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need your games console, a HDMI cable, a cam link, a USB extender, some sort of microphone, some headphones, a Mac or MacBook Pro, an Ecamm Live subscription, a wired internet connection for both your Mac and the console. And you'll probably want a switch like this so you can have one input and multiple outputs, which means you can have one cable that basically splits out to multiple. And then you can take this one step further and connect a camera, which you'll need another cam link and HDMI cable for. And then you can also take this another step further and use a green screen. Now let's get into it. I'm going to assume you know how to use Ecamm, but if you need some help with this, we've got a whole playlist up here and also in the description. And we've also got an academy to get you started. So let's get this set up. First of all, you're going to want to open Ecamm and then let's get some power into the games console. And now that power is connected to our games console, we're going to want to connect our HDMI to our cam link, just like this. And then we're going to want the USB extender on the other end. Now we're going to get our HDMI and connect it to the HDMI out, which can also say something like to TV or something like that. So I'm just gonna quickly connect it. So now the HDMI cable is connected, it should be coming through with this kind of black screen. So we're gonna turn on the games console and then I'm going to use the power brick to connect all the internet cables up. Then if you're using this camera, this video will show you how to connect it. And depending on what microphone you're using will depend on how you connect it. For me, this is just a USB cable going into the Mac mini. And now your console should be pretty much ready, but just go into your settings, into some sort of display settings and check your resolution is on the highest possible. This will just mean that the quality coming through is the best it can be. So now we've kind of set up the hardware. You should be able to see your console coming through into Ecamm. As you can see here, this is me controlling it. But if you can't see this, try closing your Ecamm and opening it back up just to give it a bit of a kickstart. Okay, so now let's start making making some scenes. So first of all, we want to make sure our microphone is set. For me, this is the Shure MV7. And if it's not on what you want it, then you can click on it and select which one you want. I'm then gonna add a second audio source, which for me, I want to be cam link number two. And now we're going to make our first scene. So for our first scene, I probably just want a full screen in case I'm talking in between games or something. And so I'm just gonna have a blank camera scene and I'm going to call it me. And then I'm going to add a new scene, which is also just as camera scene and call it game. I'm then going to add a camera overlay and switch it over to my camera. I'm gonna put it as a custom size and let's just sort it like this. I'm gonna put myself over here for now. So this is gonna be my kind of game scene. So I can be sat here while playing. What I would suggest is to play a game and either be loaded in like I am, or if it's one say like Call of Duty where you need to be constantly doing something, take a screenshot while in game so you're not covering up any information with your overlay. So things like a mini map, a toolbar like at the bottom of this one, or just some information that your viewers are going to want to see. And then I'm going to duplicate this scene and call it game bigger. And for this, I'm just simply going to drag me out a bit and make me a bit bigger. So say I'm playing and then suddenly it comes to a bit where I want to start talking a bit more. Instead of completely taking the game off the screen, I'm going to just wanna set it to be bigger so it can go between these two scenes. And so this is how you do it if you're not using a green screen. However, if you are using a green screen, then pull that up now and we'll look at how you set that up. So now you can see my green screen is set up. It doesn't need to go to the edges because I'm gonna crop them, but potentially we could bring this forward and get a bit more room in here. But for now, this is gonna be fine. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this scene just for the sake of having one of each and I'm going to call this game green screen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this camera overlay, I'm going to take the rounded borders off and the border width, 
take this down to the bottom corner and I'm going to hit green screen. Now it's going to give me this backdrop, so I'm going to tick transparent. And now you can see I'm pretty well cut out at the bottom of this. If you want, you can adjust the fade level to really get it to the right point, but this works well for me. And a good note as well is to position your Ecamm window, which is where you're going to be looking for pretty much the whole time in a place where you can see it. So say for example, because I'm sat on this side, I'm probably going to want it more onto this side of the screen just because then I'm leaning in towards the game rather than kind of leaning and looking like slightly away. Now, this is exaggerated. You won't really be looking that much different if you can get it in the center. That's good. But I'm just going to put it slightly over here and I'm going to drop me over here because this isn't necessarily important information. Now, potentially, if you're wanting to show something or you're wanting to highlight something, maybe it's a mini map or maybe in this it's the crafting section. Maybe I want to show people how to make something. I'm going to now duplicate this scene and I'm going to call it crafting. And now what I'm going to do in the camera effects, I'm going to select the game console. I'm going to hit zoom and pan and then I'm going to zoom in and bring it over to the edge just so then I can go from one scene where I'm zoomed out a bit and then go, okay, let me show you how to make this. So we want to come up into this section up here and so on. So now we've got that, one of the things we're going to want to be doing if we're live streaming is to be interacting with the chat. So let's make a chat scene. So I'm going to get the game green screen and I'm going to call it chat green screen. I'm going to drop this to the bottom quickly. And I think I can come up and out a bit. And then I'm going to come down here, add a screen share overlay and then up here, change it to show Ecamm live comments and reactions. Let's change this to a custom and then let's just bring this up a bit. Now for this, I want to hide these controls around the screen. So I'm going to go up to window and then hide main window controls. And then let's just hold option and drag the corners. So we're losing these edges. I'm going to bring this down a bit. And there we go. That's potentially how I want it. Now let's round off the corners a bit and give it a bit of a border. And there we go. If we want to change the color of this, while you can green screen it and it will make it gray, it'll also mean that anything that comes up green will be keyed out. So we don't want that on. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to change our desktop background. So maybe for this, I want it green. I can get a green and then that will change the color of this. Or maybe I want it red blue, yellow, something like that. Let's go with red for now. And just note as well, if you look at my face while I'm doing this, you can see that this is reflecting up to my face. So just keep that in mind. So like my face goes very red or blue, depending on what I am. This is because my monitor's now bright blue. So let's put this as red, close that. And now we've got it red. Now, one thing to note as well is that when the controls are shown, that is these parts around the screen, there is a gradient at the bottom, which means for this, it gets darker you can see on that white text and then once I hide it it goes you can see on the white of this frame that it comes and goes so just keep that in mind and remember that that is there and so if something's a bit darker at the bottom that's why and this is only when you're viewing Ecamm when it's recording or live streaming your audience won't see this now something that can really take this to the next level is a stream deck so I'm going to open up the stream deck app and I've got in front of me a Stream Deck XL. So this is what I'm going to be using, but this will also work on the 15 key Stream Deck. And it will also work on the six key, but you'll probably find that you'll keep wanting more keys. So I'd recommend going for the 15 if you're looking at getting one. Now I want to add in a button for all of my scenes. So I'm just going to select me and I'm going to make this font big and bold. And I'm going to do Command C to copy it and then Command V to paste. And I'm just going to do this for all my scenes. This can just be all the scenes that you want. And if you're finding like this, it's going off the screen, then I'm going to type it in. So I'm going to do game and then enter and I'm going to do green and let's do craft green. So now this means that I can change scenes without moving my mouse to it. So say if I'm playing away, then I can quite easily go, okay, let's quickly do this. And it's just a lot quicker than needing to move my mouse over here, change where I'm looking and go, oh, okay. And I'm actually also gonna add a chat one. So again, I can go, oh, okay, let's look at the chat. 
and great this is all going well everyone's being happy and positive things like that if you're interested in it you can add a viewers button which will just show on here how many people are viewing your live and then i'm also going to add some sound effects now so long as they're not copyright you can use whatever sound effects you want so i'm just going to quickly grab some of the ecam built-in ones so then i can maybe something great just happen i can give myself a round of applause and things like that. Some people do a great job at making their streams more interactive using different sound effects. Okay, so now you may wanna add some music to your stream, just some quiet background music or something like that. So I'm gonna grab this song up here that I've just added to my desktop. This is a DMCA free one, which means it's not copywritten. And more importantly, it means that we can use it on a live stream. We'll link some different music sites down below. Now I've just placed this in this music folder. Now I'm gonna hit the settings of it and I'm gonna make sure that this is turned on to loop okay so now you're almost done what you're going to want to do now is to test it all and make sure all of the sound levels are right so we're going to make sure we're in record only and we're going to hit to record i'm going to go through all my different scenes to make sure i'm not muted on them and that i don't miss that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to start playing some sound effects while i'm talking and then I'm also going to play some music while I'm talking. And just so I can get a feel for how loud things are compared to my voice, I'm then going to hit finish and then show file. You can wear headphones for this if you want, or you can just do it through your speakers. But we're now going to listen to this back and hear kind of roughly what sound levels are at. To hit to record. I'm going to go through all my different scenes to make sure I'm not muted on them and that I don't miss that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing some sound effects while I'm talking. And then I'm also, and then I'm also going to play some music while I'm talking. And just so I can get a feel for how loud things are compared to my voice, I'm then going to hit finish. Okay, great. I now know that things are about roughly at the right level. And I also know that I want to change the level of the sound effects, but not necessarily the music. So what I can do is I can come into the Stream Deck app and just bring that volume down in here. And I'm just going to do it a bit by ear like that. And now I'd recommend recording this again, checking it, also checking that your audio is in sync with your video. And now you're ready to go live. So all you need to do once you do that is to start playing. Now really you need to be wearing some headphones. So for the Xbox, you plug it into the controller. And now I can hear it and I'm good to be playing just as I would normally, but also while live. And I'm watching this window to play. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to let us know in the comments and leave a like on it. Also let us know what other things you want us to cover, whether it's using widgets or things like, should you be going live to YouTube or Twitch? Also make sure to check out the full playlist of Ecamm tutorials and this video that YouTube thinks you'll like from us. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.